guys will take today uh, the literature, chapter seven, page one three three. Okay, uh, the excerpt will take is to serve with love. So uh, I'll share with you my uh, PowerPoint first. Where is it here? This end uh, to serve with love introduction. So, girls, we know that. What is it? Is it? You see my PowerPoint, girls, right? Yes, yes. To serve with love. Uh, we we are used to that whenever we take a new chapter we get an introduction and we get to understand what does he want in the chapter so we will understand uh, word choice and style okay so before we we start we have this preview academic vocabulary we agree that there is an academic vocabulary that we take and upon upon this vocabulary we learn skills in the story through the story. The first thing he wants me to know is the tone, tone, the author's tone. Listen, girls, if Sarah calls Lujain at 8 p.m. and then she finds Lujain's voice is a change, she will say what to you here. Are you sad? How did Sarah know? From, from Lujain's? Huh? From, from Lujain's voice. Okay, yeah. Sarah knows that Lujain is sad because of her no voice. What if she is not talking to her? What if she is chatting with her? What if she writes with her? How would she know that Lujain is sad? From the word choice. Excellent, the word choice. Through the choice of the words. So Lujain will write what I'm not feeling okay, I feel depressed, I feel overloaded, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel. So this is the only way, the only way for an author to deliver his tone or you understand his tone is through the words. The only author's way to deliver any message is through the words. The, the author's attitude toward his or her subject matters. Okay, we recognize the tone of voice by listening to a person's pitch or volume or emphasis. But when reading, we recognize the tone by using word choice, descriptive style, other details to make inferences about the author's attitude. So when Lujain talks to chats with Sarah and she says to her, I feel overloaded and this we can, uh, Sarah can make an inference that Lujain is not feeling well. Miss, okay? I have a question about, yes. about this. Uh, topic is specifically when we're reading stories I feel like the author relies more than just on word choice right like it depends it's the way the author describes the the character's attitude attitude towards the certain um events exactly like is it just does the word choice only affect or every because it could be sarcastic if the if the like the personality does not complement the way that they're um, speaking. Yes, yes. So this also is achieved through what a choice of uh, the words. Because yeah. here the narrator, if he the narrator says a story of the third person point of view, so yes. he will not mention himself at all. So, mm -hmm. as you said, he will mention to us how this character acted this way towards this event. So this is the was also a word choice, how he chose these words to put them together to give me the tone of the character. So it depends on the point of view we're speaking from, like the first, second or third? The word choice. It depends on the I word thought... choice. And word choice depends on the, the point of view. Uh, okay, thank you. Welcome to you. So this is the tone. Okay, what is an author's tone? Indicates the writer's mood, voice, attitude. Often an author's tone is described by adjectives. So we say it is cynical. Cynical is when you doubt. Depressed, sympathetic, cheerful, outraged, positive, angry, sarcastic, prayerful, ironic, solemn, vindictive, intense, excited. Okay. 
here are some words you can modify a tone or describe a tone, assertive, okay, indirect, pathetic, tragic. Then we have purpose for writing. Number two, the purpose. A writer's or speaker's reason for writing or speaking. Why the author wrote this excerpt or this story or this dialogue or this uh, article, why he wrote it. Anything written in the world has a purpose. The book in front of us, this book, why is it written to inform us? Maybe to entertain. These novels, why they are written? Some of them to entertain, some to inform, some to persuade. There are reasons for the authors to write any specific writing, any any writing, even even girls, even advertisements. They are written for what to persuade you to change your mind. Anything is written for a reason. Anything like this, what I've just read now, it is what to inform you or to remind me of what I'm going to do after we finish. Okay. Anything written in the word that has a reason, maybe to entertain you, like a comic or something. So a purpose for writing is why the author writes this passage or why the speaker reads this aloud or says it aloud. A writer's reason or goal for writing, the author's purpose for writing the weather article even was probably to educate the reader and I, okay, about the weather. And I think she met her goal because I learned a lot, maybe. In a, in a sentence, okay? Are you with me, girls? We took what we took, the tone, we took the purpose. purpose. Yeah. Okay. Tone and purpose. We will then get to know something called rhetoric. And rhetoric is a way in literature to convince or persuade the audience. The art of writing or speaking to an audience persuasively, rhetoric. Rhetoric is important girls to know. Ability to teach, to persuade, I'm sorry, not teach, to persuade, ability to persuade, rhetoric. And then we will know or read after rhetoric, you have logos, ethos, and pathos, but we will not take them today, we'll take them before the third read because they are, they are for the scale of the third read so we do not want to know them now and then forget them next and the third week these are called ethos paths and logos we will study them when we take the third read with me yes, guys, is, yes. Uh, is logos related to socio it's, it's a stoicism i don't know what is a stoicism uh okay thank you this is what you tell me Oh, I tell you what stoicism? Yes. It's like a form of Greek um, philosophy where um, uh, we rely on balancing the relationship between the mind and the heart, and that's by using logic that satisfies both. Wow. That, and I, impressive. Yes. Yesterday I watched a video about it, and the word logos uh, came across, so it kind of refreshed my memory. Yeah, can you please uh, share the video on WhatsApp? Yes. Yes, if you want. Actually, yes, it is kind of close to what you say. We will, because these are Greek words, let, okay, and Greek concepts and rhetoric itself is invented by Aristotle. Aristotle, Aristotle is a Greek uh, philosopher. We, we will, we will know more next period, not, not, Today, when we take the third read, we will get to know more and more about the rhetoric devices and ethos, paths, and logos. You will like yeah. them, okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, on page 133, okay, girls, are you here? You have your book opened yes. on 133? Yes. Yes. yes, Natalie, please read your Natalie, understand and style. Read one three three. Understanding word choice and style. Uh, do you mean me? Do you want me to read the question? Yes. What does the word uh, rhetoric mean? Do you know the word has multiple meanings? Look, look up rhetoric in the in the dictionary and write two meanings of the word below. 
Yes, Grace, you have uh, you have your mobiles next to you. You have your laptop. So write what is the meaning of uh, rhetoric, or open a dictionary and find the meaning of a word named rhetoric. Anyone got the meaning? Yes. Uh, yes. What is it? The art of effective or persuasive speaking or writing, especially yes. the and position. The thing. art of speaking or, huh? Uh, the art of, of effective or persuasive speaking or writing. Yes, the art of effective speaking uh, or writing. Is there any other meaning? Communication. Communication. Language, language design, uh, designed to have uh, a persuasive or impressive effect, but uh, which is often regarded as la uh, lacking in sincerity or meaningful content. Lacking what? Uh, in sincerity or meaningful content. This is it. Lacking in sincerity and meaning meaningful, huh? Meaningful content. Yes. So, Najwa or Noor, the first one who said the first meaning? It's Najwa. Najwa. Najwa said a meaning and Fatima said another meaning. The, the two meanings, put them in your mind. Okay. Write them, please, down in one, three, three. So, Najwa, please read it again. Read your, say the definition of rhetoric again. The art. Wait a minute, I will add a, a slide. I, I, I buy my mistake. I pressed here and suddenly the no. I. Oh, here is it. This is good. It doesn't appear here. Uh, here. OK, Najwa, say Najwa. Persuasive speaking. Or writing. Here is the first meaning of rhetoric. Okay, girls. Here is it. The second meaning, Fatima. Yes, miss. Language From lacking. Design. Okay, lacking in sincerity. Or meaningful content. Here is it. Then goes, so miss, these are the. Uh, there is a space between insincerity uh, and insincerity. Yes. There is two meanings of. You know them now, right? You should write them in the box, please. Then he asks you. So these are what? These are the denotation. Meaning of the of the word rhetoric in a dictionary. Meaning of the word rhetoric in a dictionary. Then he asks you about what meaning of the word that has a positive connotation. What is connotation, teacher? Connotation is a meaning which is implied by any word aside. Bulqis, Bulqis, hurry up, Bulqis, are you here? Bulqis. Noor Yusuf. Yes, Miss. Read your Okay. From the what slide. A, yes. What is a co connotation? A connotation. connotation is yes, mm. is a meaning which implies by any word aside from the thing that that is actually describing in the main. You might think of it as a being, a feeling, or an emotion that is as associated with a word on top or a literally meaning of the word. Continue. Oh, quite uh, often you will notice that certain words have a large series of meaning, which all, which all, uh, which all. No, all of, of which meaning, have different which, connotation. Different connotation in various di different culture. Certain words have an emotional meaning as well as actual meaning of the word. Yes. So girls, we have denotation D dictionary. Donotation, D dictionary, D, D, D. 
Connotation is when I say to you a word and then you get feelings of this word. You got feelings. Okay? Here, a meaning implied by a word that has an emotional feeling to it. I can say that he is a slim. Positive connotation. But negative connotation, mm, I'm skinny. Positive connotation, conf confident. Negative conceited. Uh, positive connotation, any expensive. Negative, it's cheap. Okay, again, I can say to you a word, and this word brings what in your mind. Maybe I have a positive attitude, so I get a positive connotation about it when he's when they say for me, uh, Salma. Uh, I know Salma is uh, skinny, skinny. I. Know. But if I am a positive person, ah, oh, she is a slim. She is a confident person. But if I have a negative connotation, she is a conceited person. I bought a cheap present. It is a cheap present. Negative. But what if I am a positive person? It is an expensive present. Okay. So why is this related to rhetoric teacher? Because he says here, these are two meanings. Which one has a positive meaning and which one has a negative meaning? Negative or positive, which one? Rhetoric is the art of effective or persuasive speaking or writing. And in the same time, it means lacking in sincerity or meaningful content. Which one is positive? Which one is negative, girls? First one is positive and the second one is negative. Yes, first one is positive. So write on it next to it plus and write to the second one negative, please, girls. Natalie, continue reading from the book, yeah, Natalie. Oh, yeah. Which meaning of the word has a positive connection? Plus, A plus, by the definition of a plus, a dash, next A to minus. A minus, next to the definition that has a negative connection. The difficulty Connota connotation. Uh, connotation. The difficulty of understanding the meaning is the rhetoric can be used Presuming can be all that is not honest. Study the example below. Label each of each with a positive or a negative to indicate which meanings used. Yes. So, Lilian. Bulqis, not here. Lilian, not here. Lil Ammar. Lin Khalid. Yes, miss. Who's and who's so? Lin Ammar. Lin Ammar. Read number one, Yelin. Miss in the book? Yes. Miss, can I go to the bathroom, please? Yes, go. Uh, yes. Study. yes, miss. His study of rhetoric was clear in the way he presented a logical argument backed up with persuasive evidence. This is a, a, a negative meaning or positive meaning? His study of rhetoric was clear in the way he presented a logical argument and he ha backed it up with persuasive evidence. Positive or negative? Positive. Positive, yes. Number two, Darin. Yes, miss. Mm. Uh, the mayor promises to clean up organ organized crime in the city turned out to be more... Uh, mayor. The only mayor. mayor means only. Mayor Rectic to gain votes from his re-election. Re re-election, yes. Positive or negative? Um, negative. Promised, yes, why? Because he promised something and he didn't mean it. He was insincere. Mm. He didn't stop the crimes. Number three, Joanna. Lena Meher. 
Yes, yes Miss. Yes, Lena. And the media almost never discuss with the sweeping dismantling of public services inherent in the rhetoric of the rhetoric of the anti-government movement would mean in practice. Yes, the media almost never discuss what the sweeping dismantling of public services inherent in the rhetoric of the anti-government movement would mean in practice. Hmm. Is it negative? Yes. Because we never discuss. Yes. Okay, girls. So Chief, we go to yes. The first one is positive. Number one. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Go. Ah, uh, here is it. We. Found connotation positive and negative as we said in experiences and this is it, it affects your way or your your feelings toward the passage in expensive souvenir at the amusement park or we bought cheap I ate a moist sandwich negative soggy sandwich any yani the same sandwich from McDonald's a girl might say a positive connotation she when I say to you um, a cheeseburger for example for example I say cheeseburger Noor Youssef will ah uh, she has good memories with it she gets in her mind uh, a moist sandwich Noor Bilal she hates that sandwich she was, she, so she feels like oh soggy sandwich was full of sauce and this Okay, if I want to say about my, my myself, I'm a bargain shopper. It means that I can go to the shops and get the, the, the products in a cheap price, a bargain shopper. Or, oh, I'm a cheap skate. It means I go and buy cheap products. This is connotation. It is too helpful for you girls while writing. Okay, it is like degrees in adjectives. She is a generous. Another my, um, man might see that she is extravagant. Not generous. She spends more and more. She is witty. She is uh, smart and witty. She is sharp tongue. No, I don't like her way. She is sharp tongue. We understand, girls? Yes. Yes. Connotation is the feelings when you hear a word. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, girls. Then, girls, uh, there is a speech by Barack Obama, who said in September 8, 2019. Uh, I want to play it. Listen, girls. Today, uh, now is nine. Uh, listen here. I will stop it here. And uh, now it's nine twenty-one. Okay, take the break. And come 9.26, exactly 9.26, only five minutes. Wash your face and come because the speech is great and you like it a lot. Okay? Go and don't be late, girls. Yes, okay. Uh, miss, I wanted to ask you about uh, the presentation. Yes. Can I make uh, a video but without my voice? With your voice is much more effective because your voice is English. Yes, okay. okay. Because I'm not sure if I can.